In this video, we bring you a champion's breakdown from Mad Jam with the powerful Hugo and Susan Kirkland. What's up, gang? Brian B. And Miss Megan. West Coast Swing Online. We're bringing you a uh, Champions Breakdown. I love this one because it's a very cool move, but in our style, it has a, uh, a base that's working underneath it and a couple of different variations that we can get to as long as we are past our beginner level. So the, the move as it's done here with the timing changes taken out of it would be something to that degree, right? But if we look at it, let's look at it from the other side. Um, but again, there's a couple of different ways that we can get through this, um, leveling this up. So let's look at the base of it. Um, it's really kind of a roll in, roll out, done from the leader's left hand to the follower's right hand. So the first part of this, we're gonna walk, walk, one, two, three, and four. And I'm actually gonna follow Miss Megan as we take her around the corner, five and six, taking her down line like a rock and go, seven and eight, we anchor nine and 10. Let's do that one more time this side. So again, we're rolling in one, two, three, and four. And I'm stepping around the corner, I'm following Miss Megan to let her get to that right foot. Now we unwind her, not with an anchor step, but with a rock and go for five and six, five and I'm taking her out for six, prepping her down line. So she's prepped and ready to spin, trip, Full step and anchor step. Let's look at that from the other side. So again, I want you to understand that even though there's an over the head and all that stuff, I have to understand this version of the pattern. So if you're a beginner, you just got to deal with a roll in and a roll out, but we're going to assume that you're at that position right now. So we have one, two, three, and four, getting Megan to the right foot. So I'm going to adjust my footwork on the unwind for five and six, five and six. I'm going to take her down line onto her left foot, trip step and anchor step. That's the first part of it. Second part of it, he's gonna feed the hand behind the back. So I'm gonna stay facing this direction. One, two, three, and four. Again, I now it's a little bit more difficult. Before I could step with her to let her get on the right foot, but now I'm stepping away, so it's a little bit harder. Now I have to unwind her behind my back. Triple step and feed her to my right hand. Triple and anchor. If we look at that, is this the correct side? This is the, let's go from this side. You'll be able to see the hand feed behind. And then I'm gonna have Megan talk about what she's feeling in there um, because although the footwork is kind of basic for the follower, you gotta pay attention to some things at a higher level. One, two, three, and four. So, so far so good. Megan, anything you're thinking about here? Should be normal. I am uh, thinking about staying connected and going all the way to my foot. Cool, now we're gonna unwind. So because I'm taking Megan, I'm giving her that path, right? And you kind of saw me let go for a split second. Um, and you might let go for a split second. It's difficult to pass that hand. You're gonna look for the next connection possible. <laughs> yeah, so we talk about the connections. There's three basic, I'm gonna backtrack for just a second. There's three basic connections in, in West Coast Swing. There's an away connection, there's a toward connection, there's also a rotational connection. And so because I've set Megan in rotation, she is in a more advanced way because we learn forward and back in like beginner class. But this rotational one comes up much further up the ladder. So we roll in, right? Because she's rolling out, she's sent in this rotation. This is the direction I'm sending her into that hand. So the fact that we're going fast because we got more cool stuff to cover at the end of this. Right, we roll in, now she's unwinding and following that rotation, and she's stopping rotationally into that. She's prepped, off she goes. That's phase number two, right? Because now we have to deal with the same connections that we had, we had but behind the back. Mm -hmm. But of course, this is a champion's breakdown. So the coolest version of it, he's got that hand over the top. No, oh, this hand, not. this hand, there we go. <laughs> this hand's underneath. This is the one driving it, same job. This left hand has to do the same job that we just did. Only this right hand goes one, two, three, and four over my head and over Megan's head. Now everything's the same, triple step and triple step. So to practice that, right, just baby step your way, baby step your way, 
That's the position we need to get to. We like this baby step drill. So again, she's rotating here. Go, hey, I'm gonna do it from here. No, you're not, bucko, unless you have super long arms. So our bodies have to be close enough to reach over our heads. The other thing you're gonna find in these champion breakdowns is the athleticism, because maybe they're not perfectly spaced, but they're so flexible and good to find those spots. But yeah. we, yeah, 45th birthday coming up here. I gotta be close to Miss Megan to get that right hand over. Boom, boom triple over the top, right? Woo, Ooh, see what I'm talking about? Now we're gonna unwind, triple step. Let's look at that from the other side, and then there's one more cool thing that Hugo does. Um, they do a lot more cool stuff, but one more thing that I think is very achievable for all of us. So, as we roll in, one, two, three, and four, right? I gotta monitor this going over my partner's head. I let go, change behind the back, and we free spin off you go. So that's a level three. The final thing he does is turn back over his left shoulder at the end. And they do it musically and stuff, and mm -hmm. we'll cover a little bit of the idea of that. But what happens is he rolls in this way, he comes back across, and then he goes this way and anchor step. Now, if you notice, um, they did not, or actually, Susan did triples throughout. So a lot of times you'll find in these patterns, the follower tends to be a little bit more strict basic time with the footwork, of course with some um, advanced variations and timings that they use, but it's pretty clear underneath for the follower. The leaders tend to uh, not follow those rules as clearly with the footwork, and so Hugo does not triple everything out, but I'm gonna do it in triples just to show you that those triples and the basics are happening underneath even though you don't see it on the video. So one, two, triple step, Triple step, triple step, and anchor step. So you can see that it's all there. I think, if memory serves, he gets, he just kind of boom, 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 boom. I think that's about what he does, right? So you don't see the triples, but you can feel it going on underneath. So we'll play that, uh, that uh, one more time so you can take a peek. Um, All right, so if you guys like more of those champion breakdowns, uh, please let us know. If you have a video you want us to break down, drop it in the comments below. Uh, if you have any feedback, drop it in the comments below. Be nice, because we're doing lots of cool stuff for you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Head on over to westcoastswingonline.com, enter your email address. Uh, you will get 67 at this point free videos, West Coast Swing, uh, some two steps, some nightclub, some East Coast, some cha-cha, some waltz, lots of cool stuff. And uh, we will see you again on a dance floor again soon.